This is a carrot. I mean, everyone knows what a carrot is, right? In today's video, we are going to try and transform this simple carrot into three incredible recipes. Welcome to the Carrot Challenge. absolutely love carrots. This is one of my favorite vegetables. It's a little bit sweet. It's got some really nice crunch to it. It helps you see better in the dark, right? Carrots contain many nutrients, including beta carotene, or antioxidants. I know that. One. Nothing about seeing better in the dark. Regardless, they are really, really delicious, but I feel like sometimes they're forgotten. In today's challenge, we are going to make three incredible recipes featuring this carrot. Well, a few other carrots. I've got a whole bag of carrots back there somewhere. I think we should start off by making a raw dish. Let's jump in the kitchen and let's make a carrot salad. To start, we're not just going to make a carrot salad we're gonna make a carrot and orange salad. We're gonna start by peeling the carrots because no one wants to eat the peels and then cut off the two ends. Then we're gonna use a box grater, which is gonna grate the carrots. Who would have thought? We get this really, really nice consistency and it's gonna be perfect for our salad. Put all the carrots in a bowl and now I'm going to add the orange. We're gonna supreme this, which basically means cutting out the little segments. We wanna cut basically in between the pit or this white part. It's pretty tough and no one wants to eat it. So we just run our knife on an angle. Being very careful, we'll get these nice little wedges. It takes a little bit of time, but just go all along the orange. We can add those wedges wedges into our bowl, mix it all together, and now we need to create a dressing. I'm going to use a lemon here. This is going to give a nice bit of acid and some orange as well. Here's a nice little trick to juicing citruses. Stick a fork into the center. Turn the fork one way, turn your hand the other way. Being careful while doing this, you'll get the juice of both your lemon and your orange. Just fish out any seeds with your hands if they happen to fall in. And add a little bit of icing sugar and a bit of salt. Adding a little bit of sweet and a little bit of salt will help balance out the acid from the two citruses. Pour it on top of the carrots, mix everything by hand, and then put that in the fridge for about 10 or 15 minutes just for it to cool down. You want the salad served really, really cold. Speaking of serving it, let's put it on a plate. Look how delicious and orange this looks. Let's give it a try. All right, let's try our first carrot dish. I mean, it's deceptively simple, but it's really good. The carrots are coming through. They're crunchy. They're sweet. Using lemon juice, that little tiny bit of sugar brings things together. It amplifies all of the flavors. This is a really, really delicious, fresh dish. So we're one dish in. Stick around in this video. I've got two more incredible dishes featuring delicious carrots. Of course, I think we have to cook some of the carrots. I think we can use a few techniques to amplify the inherent sweetness of these carrots. I think we should make a soup. We're gonna make a caramelized carrot soup. We're gonna start with carrots, obviously. Peel those exactly like before, except this time we're going to cut out the core of the carrots. You don't have to do this, but the core is a little bit bitter. It's gonna amplify the flavors of the carrots and give us a bit of a sweeter soup. So I've cut these carrots down into quarters lengthways, and that's the core there. So we're just going to take our knife very carefully on an angle and cut out that core piece in the center. You can toss the core in the garbage and then just repeat this process with every single one of my carrot quarters. Now we're going to move on to a pressure cooker, which is going to help us get a lot of flavor really, really quick. To caramelize things, we need some butter. So we're going to melt some butter in the bottom of the pressure cooker. While that's melting, let's work on our seasonings. I'm going to weigh out some water to start off with and then some baking soda. This is going to help the Maillard reaction, help the browning. Then I'm using a bit of salt. We'll just mix all this together and that's as simple as our seasonings need to be. Let's talk a little bit about why I like pressure cooker so much. If you follow this channel, you've seen me use the pressure cooker a few times. I think it's a great way you can get some really great flavors really quickly. This recipe is a perfect example of that. The browning that we're trying to achieve, the caramelization in this soup is made easy through a pressure cooker. Because of the pressure inside this little container, we're able to get really, really hot temperatures. It really helps facilitate browning. That's also why we added baking soda is it's going to help the Maillard react. Without getting all sciency, pressure cooker is a great thing to use and an invaluable tool in this recipe to get a really, really deep deep and delicious caramelization. Let's jump back in the kitchen. Our butter has melted. We're gonna add in that baking soda salt and water mixture. It's gonna bubble just a little bit, stir it around, and then add our carrots. Make sure everything's coated. That's gonna help make sure that nothing burns. Then we're gonna bring this up to full pressure. And you can see that by this little ball coming up on my pressure cooker. Everyone is different though. Let this cook for about 20 minutes and then manually release the pressure just by releasing this valve. Be careful while doing this, the steam coming out of there is super hot. And you can see here, we've got some really nice browning and it smells really, really delicious. I know, I know, you can't smell it but trust me, it smells great. Now I'm gonna use my immersion blender to blend this down into a carrot puree. It'll only take a second, these carrots are really soft. You can use a regular blender if you want. But I'm gonna pass my carrots through a fine mesh sieve, scrape off the edge of the sieve, and this is a carrot puree. I'm gonna add some homemade chicken stock to this and turn the puree into a soup. Just mix everything around, and then finally, with the immersion blender again, blend in some butter, and we have a really thick, luxurious soup. All right, we've got our caramelized carrot soup. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow. Really, really good. I mean, there's a lot of butter in here. I'm caramelizing the carrots to the butter that we added at the end. You get that really intense carrot flavor. The sweetness from the carrots really comes out because we caramelize them. It's really, really good. Two dishes down, one more to go in this carrot challenge. So far, we've made a salad, we've made a soup. I think we have to make something that I make every single holiday, every single Christmas, every single Thanksgiving. One of my favorite ways to make carrots, we're making glazed carrots. 
So let's get started on this dish. This might sound like an easy dish to make, but there's a fine line between having something that's watery and not very good, something that's delicious and glazed. Just like before, I peeled the carrots and cut off the ends like we've done in every recipe so far. What's different in this recipe is we're going to make oblique cuts. So why is this oblique cut so good? It comes down to surface area. You might've heard this concept in other cooking videos. Surface area, the amount of surface that you have, particularly important for a couple of reasons. One, cooks faster. That's really important because we don't want to add too much liquid because we want to create a glaze. We also don't want to overcook our carrots. We want something that's still sort of crunchy, but just a little bit soft. Secondly, the more surface area, the more glaze that can attach to our carrots. This angled cut, this oblique cut, is going to give us more surface area, which is going to give us more deliciousness. Let's finish cutting up our carrots. So that's why surface area matters. I'm going to cut the rest of these down. Just keep turning the carrot, cutting at a 45 degree angle, rolling the carrot, cutting at a 45 degree angle. As you're doing this, try and make each piece about the same size, which means some might have to be bigger or smaller, depending on the thickness of the carrot. Once you're done, they'll look a little something like this. We'll set those aside and we'll set up our stove. Into a pan, you want everything in one layer and then slightly cover with chicken stock. You could do this with water as well if you wanted to. I'm gonna add a little bit of honey. It's gonna add a bit of sweetness and it's gonna help turn this into a shiny glaze. Start over high heat, stir it so the honey is completely combined, bring it to a boil and then add a knob of butter. As this cooks down, its butter is going to emulsify. Drop the heat. After about five minutes, you have something that looks like this. Keep going. It takes about 10 minutes in total, and you can really hear some of the differences. It starts to sizzle, and most of the liquid is gone, and it's turned into a delicious glaze that covers the carrots completely. Add some parsley and a little bit of lemon juice. This is going to brighten things up and give a little bit of green color, which is going to look great. Put that on a plate. I'm going to eat all of this because I love glazed carrots. Last but not least, a little bit of fleur de sol. Adds a bit of salt and obviously a bit of crunch. All right, we've got our glazed carrots. Let's give these a try. It is one of my absolute favorite side dishes. They're still crunchy. They're a little bit soft because they're cooked. Glaze on the outside with the chicken stock and a little bit of honey. Obviously the parsley brings some freshness. I absolutely love glazed carrots. These are awesome. So in this video, we created three carrot recipes, a raw carrot and orange salad, caramelized carrot soup, a glazed carrot side dish. As usual, we need to pick a winner. Drum roll, please. It's the carrot soup. It's a whole nother level of deliciousness. If you love carrots, you're gonna love this dish. It's sweet, it's simple, it just amplifies the carrot. It is the winner of this carrot challenge. Leave a comment if you have other carrot recipes that you like, or if you wanna see me do other challenges, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more cooking content. That's it for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.